Somehow we went from this Make pardon? to this oh, shit. to this. Dude's got something to prove. I ain't complaining. It's pretty damn good. Hey everyone, welcome to Digital Charcuterie. Hit the like button if you're new here. Hit subscribe. We're talking Penguin, Batman, Star Wars, Superman, Wolverine, whatever you want to talk about. We talk about here. We are a charcuterie board of digital content, as they say. Digital content. Uh, the Penguin dropped last night. Got a chance to watch it. Want to do a quick video. We'll talk about it more on Super Tuesday, this Tuesday, live at 8 p.m. Eastern. And uh, we'll probably do... Uh, uh, post shows also when it starts uh, airing on Sundays, but I just wanted to get on here and do a short little video to say that this. So they were like, "This is like the Sopranos," da, da, da. but it's a very, very different part of Gotham that I've never seen before. It's really the underbelly of the city, and it's down in the down in the gutter. And right away, it starts off right with like his last shot from the Batman, and we got the newscast that's going on over top, and you kind of get a new perspective. I mean, it's the same perspective, but it's from a different angle of what uh, Oz Cobb Oz Cobb is going through. Uh, during that moment and uh, the opening sequence he goes to uh, the iceberg lounge and he, he breaks open like a little wall area safe area and he takes some jewels and he sees uh, Alberto uh, and they have I drink together and they have a good time it's a good conversation and then Alberto takes things in the wrong way and this is where the show really picks up and I gotta put on a spoiler warning here because it went in a direction I was hoping it was going to go, but I wasn't suspecting it to go this early on. So if you haven't seen it, pause it, come back after. If you have seen it, this is probably the only spoiler I'm going to go into right now, uh, to be honest, But I because I, I'm going to keep it very light, but there might be a couple little spoilers later on because it shows it was really good. It was like, I was like, oh man, this is good. And it feels like it's in that Batman universe. Like it really feels like an extension of the Reeves-verse. It doesn't feel like, like it, like a just like a normal TV show. It's like the, uh, the the cinematography is very similar, pretty much identical. Uh, you know, you could put these side by side and it would probably feel like one uh, movie, one super, super ass long movie, <laughs> but, um, but one long movie nonetheless. And it was awesome. And the Penguin is my favorite Batman villain, has been uh, forever. And uh, this is not the Penguin I grew up with whatsoever. That is not a complaint. I, I've, I've grown, the Penguin has grown. I loved it though. I thought... Wow, what a great, great character. Uh, the way they use the Penguin in this is fantastic. So I, anyway, I wanted to go on to how the, 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 the cold open, as they are known, the cold open just starts and uh, Alberto kind of makes a comment about how like Penguin's dream is kind of ridiculous. And uh, Penguin just, Ozcop, just straight up shoots him down, guns him down, like not that many, like five or six times. And the moment that I love, though, was you see the Alberto's dead body laying on the chair. And Penguin kind of looks at him like happy, like, I got you, kid. And then the realization of who he just killed clicks in. And then he says, oh, title screen. Same as the Batman, says Penguin. But then they invert the color. Do they invert it? Well, it goes black. And you see it kind of, kind of clear over a body bag being zipped up. And that kicks off the chain of events. It wasn't, I thought the series was going to be kicked off from just, I mean, Falcone's death, Falcone's death, kicks off the chain of events technically because we wouldn't be where we are at the beginning of this without that. But it's actually, it's actually this murder by the penguin that's going to set off the chain of events to follow. From there, he meets young Victor trying to steal the hubcaps, uh, similar to a character from the comic books who you might know named Jason Todd. Um, and Victor is kind of is kind of the Robin to 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 the Penguin. He's kind of like his, you know his, his boy wonder, if you will. He's with him the whole way. He convinces him to take him along. Uh, I said this was going to be short. I'm going way longer than I planned to already because I really really loved it. By the time we meet Sophia, she's she's out of Arkham. She's a whack job, but she's smart. She understands. She knows how to play the streets. She knows how the streets work, and. Uh, and she is ruthless. She has Penguin stripped naked, gun in his mouth, with one of the other kids who was trying to steal the car, hubcaps from the car, or steal the car. And, uh, and she shoots that kid dead. Spoiler, she shoots that kid dead. Dead, 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 dead. 
Love the show. That's all I'm going to talk about now. I, look, this show, they promise Sopranos. It gets darker than – maybe not darker. It's on, it's on par with Sopranos. Not as humorous, I guess, uh, but it's really good. The relationship with Penguin and his mom's coming up big, and uh, that was a big part of the Sopranos as well. So if you haven't checked out the Penguin, if you're into mobster-type uh, shows, and if you loved the Batman, this is a perfect – extension of the batman without even seeing batman it's a perfect extension of the batman you don't need the batman to enjoy the batman the penguin carries the show i am thrilled we got a penguin show can't wait for see episode two season two can't wait for season two but can't wait for episode two coming on the 29th i gotta wait 10 days to watch it but can't wait what did you guys think of the penguin let me know in the comments down below thanks for watching everybody give us a like and a subscribe and until next time maybe the master of your own universe